welcome everyone to another video. This is actually kind of going to be a short video. I'll probably do a more in-depth video later, but I'm not feeling too well, but I promised everyone that I would create an SEO video. Uh, SEO is going to be different from Amazon Merch as it is to Etsy, as it is to Redbubble. So kind of what I'm going to teach you here today, and it's really kind of how to fill out the, the title, the bullet points, and the details, you can apply to both Etsy, eBay, Redbubble, whatever it is. So I don't like to duplicate work, so I will take a lot of what I do here. Now the big difference is title limits. I forgot what the title limit is for Amazon Merch. I scrolled down, 60 characters, I think. Etsy's 150, eBay's 80. So Etsy, you can really uh, maximize the SEO. And on uh, Merch, you can't, so you just kinda gotta be careful with that. So uh, for now, if you're obviously uh, tier 10 you don't want to have all these selected there's no point but once again this is an actual uh, title feature bullet one two and description video for seo and how to stand out in a niche that's already crowded so the first we're going to start with design title maximize the seo and the real estate of this this is one of the key indicators for both the url and what somebody searches that you're going to want to be aware of uh, and you want to use as many of those characters as possible. Don't just put Trump shirt that you're going to shoot yourself in the foot by doing that. So in this video I'm going to show you uh, some things that I would do uh, if I was going to list a Trump Halloween shirt which I actually have one but uh, I won't show it in this video but I'm going to just kind of go over it. So if you actually type in Trump Halloween search in Amazon Prime you can see Trumpkins very popular. Trump. Trumpenstein, Trump or Treat. You can see some of these uh, titles right here. Halloween Trumpkin Funny Shirt. T-shirt. Never put the name shirt uh, in the actual description. It will actually... You can see it says it's strongly recommended to remove any reference from product type. So don't put shirt in there at all. But you can see sometimes Amazon will actually put that in there by itself, which is fine if Amazon does it. Zombie Trump shirt. Like, they, they really didn't even capitalize. It could have been Halloween zombie uh, dead shirt. Like, you, you can do better. <laughs> They're just doing a terrible job. Halloween Trump in vintage. They, a lot of people search vintage. U.S. flag. So they're doing a better job. Uh, Donald Trump Halloween costume, so they hid in the words costume, anti-Trump horror. So, so, so you can see some people do a better job than others. So in this case, we're going to just do a uh, Trumpkin, because that's it. we're going to do a Trumpkin shirt. Funny Halloween. Sometimes you can get away with T instead of shirt, but I won't even put T Halloween. Uh, I like to use dashes to just visually break things up, even though it does take up space. You can do uh, Pro Trump Trump 2020 uh, costume. It, whatever it is, you want to maximize that space. This is probably not the best version of SEO, but I would look to see kind of what other people are doing, what's selling with them, and I would take something similar to it, but definitely maximize the space. Now, this is going to be the tricky part when it comes down to bullet points. Most people, and I have no idea why, and you know, this has 70 ratings, and this is where you can come into a niche and do a much better job, is you can come up with a better design than this, and you can come up with actual SEO keywords. There's nothing here. Halloween Trumpkin Funny, like they didn't even try. Like they must have started merch or something a long time ago and they were the, the first to market. Like there's no no anything here and they probably don't even have a description. No, they don't have a description. There's just no SEO on this. So you can come into this space, hopefully you would have to also look at the other Trumpkins. Let's go that one and go this one and see if they're doing the same thing. So USA, make Halloween great again. So at least they tried something, but very little, like one bullet point here, no description. Trump can make liberals cry again. At least they tried something. They have some sort of description, which is at least good for them. Um, and then uh, basically a, a crappy description. So you can come into these niches and you can do a better job than these people. Uh, and if you find one that's actually selling well, what I often do is I just copy it, oh, paste it in. And then you can tweak it a little bit. Nobody really even cares if you take somebody's bullet points, but you can just take it into and put like Trumpkin Funny Halloween. There, you got bullet point number one. Uh, take it from somebody else's listing. We're gonna just keep the same one. 
number two. Just throw Trumpkin in again, because you want to hit that keyword as many times as possible. Trumpkin. Now, what I see the vast majority of products, and which I've shown you already here, we'll go here, we'll go here, we'll go here, we'll just click them all. Look at nothing, terrible name, no description. Still a terrible name, at least they somewhat tried here. No description. Somewhat terrible name, at least they tried here. Ah, they have a description. So, at least they were ones to hit the description. So, not... I know the description for Amazon SEO isn't as important, but even if it improves by 1% and it will help you stand above the rest, put a description. So even if you don't know what to put, put something. Just copy the title for all I care. Plug it in there. There you go. There's your description. Put something there. And you can, if you want to be lazy, you can just copy this. Really hit those keywords again. Copy this. Whatever it is, boom, you have a description, you like somebody else's, I forgot who had that one. There you go. Throw in a description, you have something. And then the brand name, whatever you want, whatever makes it easier for tracking. I find brand names less important because most of the time people just steal your stuff anyways and they just hop onto your brand, which is really annoying. Now, uh, if you really want to do this well, because a lot of these people didn't do a very good job, you want to, for SEO, it's very important, you want to put words down that people would actually search in the search results, not just, uh, you know, something dumb like, uh, make Halloween great again. Yeah, that's a great slogan, but how many people are actually typing that in? So, I recommend there's this extension, I forgot what it is, what's it called here? Uh, AMZ Suggestion. Uh, expander which I'll put it in the link down below for Chrome and what it does is if I start typing in Trump shirt it will give you suggestions and I know Ryan went over this in one of his videos so you want to make sure when you're t you know Trump shirt men Trump shirt red keep America great this is kind of what people are searching for Donald Trump shirt so you want to make sure you know right here uh, whether it's in the title, bullets, or the description that you put some of that so uh, obviously you don't want to put men or women right here because uh, you're wasting real estate, and unless you uncheck men or women, it really doesn't matter. So, uh, but you could be like uh, Trump shirt for men, uh, not shirt. Trump men, women, tea, something like that. As long as you have the word men and women, because if someone types in Trump men shirt, hey, what do you know? You're gonna pop up, or Trump women shirt, you're gonna pop up. So that's very important. Uh, or you could do Trump Halloween. Let's see, costume. So you can at least throw costumes in there. Trump Halloween shirt we already have, blah, blah, blah. So that's just a quick and dirty free thing. There's also called a uh, sonar tool. So if you typed in, this is kind of a generic search, but you want to make sure to hit all the keywords, Trump shirt, let's say. Um, you actually don't want shirt because the Amazon won't allow us. So Trump Halloween. Halloween Trump scary, Hello, Trump Halloween costume, it's something, let's just do Donald Trump, Donald Trump's Father's Day, it obviously doesn't matter, we're not selling toilet paper or anything like that, it's a little generic, Donald Trump clothes, nothing comes up, um, Trump 2020, you see, we already have the shirt, Donald Trump 2020, Trump Pence 2020. Uh, we're obviously not going to do a decal sign, hoodie, we can't do any reference right there. Re-elect Trump. So you can see there are keywords you can use on top of the Amazon suggestion expander. But ultimately, it's just, if you were going to find this search or shirt, what would you actually shirt, search? Trump Halloween shirt. Trump Halloween costume something of that nature so I know like I said this is not the most in-depth video I'll promise I'll go over more videos I said just not feeling well but I wanted to at least get this out so you guys can start utilizing it and like I said these same principles apply whether it's to Etsy whether it's to eBay or whatever it is uh, I hope you at least learned something if you have if you can please like comment and subscribe and remember just five dollars a day is eighteen hundred dollars a month and that's a free Hawaiian vacation at the end of the year take care